today is going to be a great day to be outside as long as you don't see that isolated shower. And it's possible your temperatures is at, at this hour. Upper 40s, low 50. See, see, see the scattered stuff here. See, this, this is what we're dealing with today, and it's difficult to tell you where it's going to hit because it's really going to be isolated, especially if we get some sunshine. I'm looking over at Jersey City and North Bergen. You're saying, Byron, is that coming over towards uh, Manhattan? No, because watch, see what it's going to do. Watch what it does. Oh, there it goes. It, it was moving north. So that's going to get up to Mount Vernon and Yonkers uh, within the next hour or so. Or maybe not even the next hour, the next 20 minutes. And you're going to see a little downpour. Today we have this lifting mechanism, this area of low pressure in the front that is just about off the coast. As long as that's with us with some sunshine, it, go, it will give us a chance of a thunderstorm. I just can't tell you where, and that's why I'm saying I'm not going to walk around with the umbrella because if you look at the rain future cast and it shows you it's hit and miss here, uh, I just don't feel like I'm going to see showers that long where I need the umbrella. But if it hits, it's going to get you soaked probably within about two minutes because it could be a heavy downpour, especially as you see over here towards Queens at 5 p.m. Again, that's not exact, though. The rain future cast really can't pinpoint an isolated shower. That's why we call it isolated, right? So again, uh, your isolated shower chance is in the forecast today. Not a real big deal. Shorts and T-shirts, I think that's the big deal. And that's why that's story number two. When in my toolbox to try to figure out what's going on in the atmosphere, I look at the winds and the wind direction and the westerlies and the jet stream. We have what we call the westerly winds. We go from the west coast to the east coast. It's a west wind. And it's when we have the jet stream flat, it's called zonal because it's doing the westerly. It's just going straight across. We're not influenced by cold air or warm air to the south or cold air to the north. But when the jet stream dives south, it opens the door to Canada. Their temperatures are still somewhere in the 20s. And that takes our temperatures down. That's going to happen tomorrow morning. This is the big deal. By Tuesday, Monday into Tuesday, the jet stream all of a sudden doesn't go south. It goes north. As it ridges north, the temperatures down south in Florida and through Atlanta, Georgia, Tupelo, Mississippi, through the southeast Gulf Coast in the 80s at this hour or this time of year. And that can warm us up. So today, we're pretty much where we should be temperature wise because we're not really influenced by the jet. Today, we're in the upper 50s to the low 60s. Watch what happens. I'm taking you down the road. Tomorrow is going to be cold. I'll show you that in a seven day. But this is Tuesday. You see the jets well north. It's ridging. It's letting that warmth from the Gulf of Mexico head this way. And we'll have temperatures somewhere between 10 to 18 degrees above average. We could be around 75 by Tuesday. Today, 60. Tomorrow morning, we're going to feel like 34 degrees. So uh, bundle up in the morning. But we warm up to 52 in the afternoon.